You know, I'm, I'm asked quite frequently by designers for examples of individuals who are involved in a hybrid practice, an effective hybrid practice. And among that group of people, one of the, one of the uh, individuals who pops to mind or who comes to mind immediately is Christian Morin. This is Christian Morin from Los Angeles. Christian's hybrid practice is an interplay between contemporary graphic design and contemporary painting. Taking sketches that I've drawn of flowers, uh, just really quick doodles, um, and blowing them up, projecting them, laser etching them, um, painting them, and, and kind of doing this layering of material processes and uh, really trying to combine digital process and kind of classical um, fine art. The blue one uh, really, it was a, it was the result of making this kind of seascape, um, which you could vaguely see anymore, uh, and then taking some of the other materials that have been laser cutting and etching and um, kind of just mashing it in there and really trying to disrupt my idea of, of a beautiful painting and kind of mess it up and then try and refix it in a way. Um, the title page, Typography, uh, I wanted it to feel sort of, not like a, a tombstone, but on, on certain buildings there, they're dedicated at a certain era or time. And I always love that quote, said in the year of our Lord, uh, making it a sort of statement that, you know, this, this endeavor was, um, sort of like took some sacrifice, it took a lot of commitment. because I'm in my own head and concerned with my own ideas and as soon as someone else looks at it they have um, they have so much to to respond to and it's going to be in a completely different way than I intend <laughs> Uh, the, can the candles are another. Um, the candles are another example of taking the form of the painting of the library symbols and the graphic form of the library symbols and kind of existing in a performative way. So I had these screen prints made. These candles that were screen printed at a shop in Detroit, downtown Detroit, and it's a sort of a mystic shop um, that has religious and mystical ephemera, kind of cultish and. So I had these made and they have a section in the back where you're able to burn your candles, you know, for wealth or for health or for a loved one, etc. So I had these candles made in, um, in a sort of response to my interest in the symbols at Cranbrook and the kind of monastic quality of the school. The color palette originally was uh, just to serve as a, as a, I like that it was sort of repelling and, and attractive at the same time, the kind of safety yellow. Um, color.
like it really couldn't be more simple. Smash the like button, subscribe, leave comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Till next time.